In this video, we will introduce Fujitsu's customer portal for service tickets and look at the functionality available to you. In this session, we will look at accessing the portal, how to open, view and update tickets, the process for signing off tickets and finally how to close tickets. When your account is activated, you will receive a welcome email with your username and initial password. Included will be a link to the portal, which is also accessible via the URL shown. Let us log in with a test user. Here we visit the customer portal and are presented with the login page. Use the username and password emailed to you. Note that you may be asked to change your password upon first login. The landing page will display as shown. We will be using the navigation pane on the left for subsequent portions of this video. The customer portal allows you to open tickets directly within our service desk. Our service desk team will be notified of new requests and will take the appropriate actions to progress the ticket. It is still recommended that you call into our service desk for all critical issues. To open a new ticket, navigate to the ticketing option in the left pane and click on Open Tickets. Above and below the table are buttons to add tickets. Clicking this will bring up a form with three editable fields. Enter an appropriate subject. In this case, I will identify our example as a test. For the ticket type, there are three options select the appropriate type. The service desk will adjust this if necessary. Lastly, fill out the description of your request, attaching any files you wish to, and click Save Ticket. The new ticket is now shown in the list of open tickets, and we can see the details by clicking View in the Actions column. This introduces our next topic for viewing and updating tickets via the customer portal. All tickets reported by you or your company will be visible via the customer portal. Customers can post comments in open tickets to communicate with the service desk team. Files may be attached at any time while the ticket is open. To post an update to an open ticket, we again click the View in the Actions column. Once the ticket detail is displayed, you can scroll to the comment box and post an update. Updates here are immediately visible to the Service Desk team when posted. If we view the ticket again and scroll down to the history, we see the comment log. Over the course of the ticket lifecycle, there will be several updates from the service desk and the customer. You will receive email notifications anytime an update is posted to your ticket. For this demonstration, we have accelerated the process by adding multiple comments from the Service Desk team. These can be reviewed and responded to. Clicking View again, we see my last comment posted in chronological order in the history. Fujitsu has gone paperless for work order receipts. For work done remotely, the customer portal allows for digital sign-off. There are two methods available. When viewing a ticket, scroll down and click Sign Ticket. A summary of the ticket details will be presented for review. These include the time spent on the ticket as well as any materials used. Once you have verified the details as correct, 
you may sign at the bottom of the page. The first method shown is via physical signature using a touch screen device. Once signed, a copy of the work order is emailed to you for your records. Here is the email and what the PDF looks like with the signature affixed. Let's sign the ticket again, but this time using the second option for electronic sign-off. It should be noted that there can be several instances where sign-off is invoked during a ticket lifecycle. A PDF is again emailed, but does not have any physical signature on it, as in this example. The service desk or technician assigned will advise you when to sign off a ticket. Tickets may be closed when an issue is resolved or the request is no longer required. The service desk staff will receive a notification when tickets are closed in the portal. To close a ticket, once again, view the ticket in question and scroll down to click on Close Ticket. Be sure that all comments are updated in the ticket before closing. The status of the ticket listing updates to result when this is done. This completes our agenda. Thank you.